Ready? Yes. There's a note. Ooh. What does it say? Riley, for your next crumble taste test, toss the fork. Also, here's some starter for your own hexy blanket. Enjoy. Cool. <laughs> hexy. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Wait, I can't open it. Look at the purple just... one. Oh my goodness. The light is not all that great because of the sun, but they look beautiful. That's wow. So cool. All right, well, we were just trying to pick out yarn for your next taxi, so maybe we oh, can find one to really match. Is. Okay. What is that? It's a cookie cutter. No way. <gasps> so you That's can, what like... you meant by ditch the fork. We can each have our own piece. Let's go to Crumble. Okay. I don't know if it's on video right now. <laughs> it is. We're doing a fit check. What you wearing? I'll go first. My shoes are from Birkenstocks. My shorts are from Old Navy. Go. My, the sweater is from my closet. It is the Cozy Classic Raglan from Jessie Made Designs. Wanna do a little spin around or no? Cutie. And I had earrings in from Visa Vis, but I had to take them out. Yep. And that's it. Good. Yeah. All right, I'm ready for my fit check. I am wearing the Ama Crochet Top by Maria Vallis, I think is her name. These shorts are from Target Universal Threads, and I'm wearing fake Birkenstocks that I got at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Necklace. Oh, my necklace. I don't remember where I got this necklace, come to think of it. Oh. But Riley picked it out, and I think it looks cute with this outfit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Crash! Let's Face play off. chicken. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> we win. Okay. Excellent. Good morning. Oh, Ugh, my it's eye. not morning at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's 20 minutes of one. <laughs> Do you want to tell them what I did this morning? Our sleepover is off to a great start. <laughs> she slept till 11. 11. I don't think I've done that since college. Riley is officially the world's most patient child. <laughs> or teen, rather. But, where are we now? Savers. Mm -hmm. Parking lot. And then we're going to crumble. And we're going to take you along. Yep. And then we'll probably go back and do some crafty stuff. I mean, probably. You want to show them what crafty stuff you brought with you? What in I this very car? This? Yeah. I'm working on a... Br well, I, actually, I just started it yesterday. Oh, stupid light. You can't really see it. There you go. That's so looking I'm beautiful. I'm working on a bracelet. Thanks. I didn't look at it up close. I haven't done the blue row yet. Wow. I started last night at like 8. Oh, you literally just started it. Cool. I started it and then I did the dishes and then we left. So, good deal. All right, let's go see what we find. A beachy Christmas. <laughs> Mr. 
Merci. There was like a gold. Look at that. That one has gold in it. Yes. I mean, it's not like we need it. Riley, now they're really close. No. We just want to get back in our car. Where are they now? Right in front of me. They're under the car. Run them over. Remember that time we could never go home because the chickens were under the car? We're all beside the car. Goodness, Riley. Look at it. Oh my god. Get away, chickens. <laughs> it's like they're trying to get in my door. for our crumble tasting. Would you like to share, before we share the cookies, about our fun new accessory that we're gonna try out for today? Um, Nicole gave us a crumble cookie cutter. I didn't even know this existed in the world. Did you? You did. What, is this gonna crumble if I, I pick it up? Before. Maybe. It melted because we went and saw chickens. <laughs> um, which you'll see in the vlog. <laughs> So what is this one? But it melted. That's raspberry butter cake. And it originally looked it's more like that. With the whip. Not the whip. The buttermilk thingy on the top. Yeah, it's a little melty. It's very hot today. Ready? That's so perfect. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, it looks really good. Hold on. I'm just going to show them. Are you haven't tried it yet? Mm -mm. I'm going to try to get a bite with everything. Two thumbs up? Mm-hmm. That's really good. It's very soft and chewy. The raspberry is delish. I want this jam for my toast. Mmm. <laughs> And even without the frosting on it, it's still good. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. We are off to a very strong start. Did I bring my coffee down here? Oh, 
cleansing the palette. <laughs> it's already crumpled. I can tell you that. This is pink velvet. Okay. Cut it. This looks very frosting. Ooh. Oh boy. Sometimes too much frosting is not. It's like it makes good it too heavy. Yeah. Oh, I also just don't like a lot of frosting. Yeah. The inside's nice and pink and squishy. Oh boy. <laughs> Cheers. I don't know if that bodes well. Pink and squishy. Oh. The frosting is very cream cheesy. It's good. There's just too much frosting. But there's always too much there's frosting. There's always too much frosting. Yeah. That's why I prefer ones like the raspberry one. But we didn't just take a knife and scrape them off. But the cookie itself is good. <laughs> there you go. Many uses for this scraper. Yeah, that's much better. Um... I'm just, you know, gonna clean this off so we don't contaminate it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll do. This is very messy. I know. Okay, now we're gonna do. I think it's called Mother's Recipe. Mother's Recipe. Mm. This it's, one doesn't look quite as crumbly. Hold on. It's an oatmeal cookie with chocolate and toffee and one Let's other. See thing. the toffee like seeping out the side. I can't remember what else. There's one other thing. Crunch. It's so satisfying. That was a really bad cutting job, Riley. Well, just some of them are smaller than others. Ooh, this looks so good. Hold on, that was like the extra piece, right? Holy to moly. That's this might really be the good. best one yet. The oatmeal of it is really good it adds like an extra layer than it just being like a sugar cookie with the stuff in it mm -hmm. i like it a lot and i feel like the oatmeal mm. makes it less doughy like because usually the entire yeah. would be doughy holy cow this one's good 10 out of 10 mm-hmm All right, the last one we've done before. We do it every time. Well, they don't. It's classic for a reason. Every time we go, they don't have the other one that they do that they switch off with the classic, the pink sugar What's, cookie. Oh, nope. I don't even know if I've ever had the pink sugar cookie. That's different than this was pink velvet. Right? Yeah, no, the pink sugar cookies one they have often. That's like if they don't have the chocolate chip, then they have the pink sugar cookie. Them. Classic. Chocolate chip. <gasps> it's not as good as usual. It's not as good as usual. And after having this <laughs> I one. I it just got beat. <laughs> it did just get beat. But look at like, so this is the regular chocolate chip. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But see how much darker the chocolate chips are in the toffee one? This is a darker chocolate, and I tend to like darker chocolate better than milk chocolate. Yeah. If we had had this one first today, I think I would still like it as much as I normally do, but this one... Oh, God. It's everything. <laughs> well, this was fun. And thank you again, Nicole, for our very fancy cutting tool. It's making life so much easier. <laughs> no fork needed. No. Although, we did find forks. No knives. Oh, they were knives. <laughs> that would be easier, too. Um, but yeah, no makeshift cutting utensils. All right, we need to go wash our hands <laughs> before we do any crafting. <laughs>
done my first ever needle felting project and I had a lot of fun. Little sheep in this little landscape. I tried to make some little like flowery bushes here. I think it came out pretty well. I'm gonna rip it off of the the foam pad here and I got, oops, there it goes, a frame at Savers to put it in, which I think is gonna be perfect. This is the size, so I, I knew it would be a little bit bigger. Um, so that should be perfect. I won't really lose anything. so fuzzy. It's kind of perfect. It didn't even come with glass. So we wouldn't have used it. I'm gonna get it in there a little better, but I think it'll work. The row. <laughs> so Riley is learning how to crochet back and forth and is concentrating very working. hard. It is working. In there? Nope. In the two V's, just like you did. I don't see a V All though. the other ones. Other, oh, whatever. This works. Bada You've got bada. 27 double crochets on there. And that yeah. should be your last one for the row to just split the stitch. Yep. This stupid yarn. I don't like this yarn. Yeah. Alright, pull that big so you don't lose your stitch and then hold it up so we can see. That was my watch. Hey, hey! It's actually a belt. A belt. Yes. <laughs> don't for ask for who. I Hold don't on. know. Hold it still for a sec. Oh. There we go. Hey. That looks pretty good. Thanks. So now you'll count your stitches, chain two, and do another row? Yeah. Hey folks, it is Sunday morning. We had a good rest of the day yesterday. We did a bit of crafting here before we headed out for a little while. Riley did awesome with her crochet project. Show my finished taxi. Show your finished taxi, I can, yes. One more, ready for the blanket. And then you also decided that you wanted to do something. I mean, this is sort of more working in the round, even though it creates the hexagon. So you decided that you wanted to learn how to work flat. Mm -hmm. So you cast on something else. Are you at a spot where you could stop for a second and show them? Sure. Voila. Very nice. So what stitch are you doing on that one? Double crochet. Mm -hmm. And it's looking pretty good. It does look like you've gotten a little smaller as you went, and I don't know if that's your gauge got I tighter. I stopped counting. You stopped counting. That's all right, though. I mean, it's all about just getting the practice. This isn't necessarily going to be anything specific, right? Right. It's just for the experience of it. You are a tight crocheter, though. I am. Wait. Okay. Did you lose your spot? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm missing a corner. You're missing a corner. Oh, well. Well, but the cool thing is, so what else did you learn today? A double magic Johnson. <laughs> a double magic loop. A double think. magic circle. Double magic circle. Magic Cir loop is what Cir we use on, like, circle. when we knit socks with knitting. Oh, yeah. yeah. I said circle. Circle. Double think that's magic circle. We're double magic circling up here. Yep. So, yeah, you've done this one completely by yourself. It's looking really good. The pink and purple is very fun. And we started a couple others, so we've got three in this basket that are ready to go so that you can 
work on these we in the car to... today, maybe. We'll do a few more before we leave. Yeah, we'll add more. And then I also need to pick out colors to bring to next weekend. Yes. We're going away for yours and Ayla's birthday next weekend. So we'll bring some crafty projects, of course. Yep. And I finished my needle felting project, so we can show you that. I ended up taking it back out after we talked and felting it a little more. So we got a little sheep in a field with some purple flowers. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out, especially for my first one. So we're definitely going to have to do some more with that. You'll have to look up some tutorials or TikToks or however you consume your media. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's about it. After we left here yesterday, we went to Zach's birthday dinner, so we had some fun hanging out with the fam, and then got some ice cream and came home. This morning, we recorded the podcast together, so that'll be something you guys can check out, um, the Downseller Studio audio podcast. If you haven't checked us out over there, check your favorite pod feeder and listen to what we've been up to lately. For now, clearly, we are going to be crocheting until the minute we leave. <laughs> and while we're driving. Well, and while we're driving. Yeah, because we're making Uncle Dan drive. Obviously. It's a good thing he likes to drive, huh? Oh, he does? He does, yeah. He'd prefer to drive, which works out nicely for us. <laughs> She's not stressed about this at all. It's all working very well. <laughs> all right, well, that's going to do it for this one. We'll catch you again next time.